Hello everyone, it's me again, Alan. And this is, in this episode, we have our guest speaker, Alice, to share about her experience during the pandemic situation. Hi, Alice, welcome again. Hello, thanks for having me again. Hello, how are you? How are you today? I'm good. Um, it's quite late here, but like, uh, I'm, I'm still really awake, so that's good. Had a busy day, <laughs> as usual, yeah. Right. Do you usually study uh, until like 1 or 2 a.m.? It is needed. Uh, I would say if it's needed, yes. Um, so a lot of my homework is due at midnight. So a lot of times I, I do some last minute work and I work right <laughs> until midnight. And there are a lot of uh, places we can go to grab a midnight snack with, with friends and things. Like um, so sometimes we kind of get a little like something to eat to reward ourselves at the end of the day. Mm. Yeah. And are, then, yeah. There any, are there a lot of restrictions about going out for a night snack during the pandemic situation? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's mm -hmm. definitely a lot harder to just dine to just eat anywhere really. Um, where like my friends and I are a lot more worried and careful about just going around like outside of the university, uh, with people we don't know because we don't know if they'll have the COVID or anything. Because in America, COVID is pretty bad. It's it's get it's gotten a lot better now, but it's mm -hmm. still bad um and yeah like how many, the, do you know how many cases happening right now so as of yeah as of today uh i like i just checked and there are about fifty-seven thousand today and that's kind of been the average it used to be a lot worse it's it's come down a lot because almost 30 percent or like 27 percent of the u.s population have been vaccinated so that's great news but we still caught got, got Quite a long way to go so but um talking about the whole different study uh, situation you now turn to from a physical classroom learning to a digital online learning um do you like it or do you think this kind of learning will like negatively affect your learning progress i think it has negatively affected my learning just because I find it quite hard to concentrate mm -hmm. during a Zoom lecture, uh, facing a screen. Um, but I think it hasn't affected it that much. Um, especially, I find it quite helpful to watch recorded lectures. Um, if there's something I didn't understand uh, during the live lecture, I can always just watch the recorded one again. So that's something I really like. and. Uh, it's really easy to go to lectures because you just need to click a Zoom link and you're there. Because yeah. Cornell is so big, the campus mm -hmm. is so big. I walk about 10k every day. Um, <laughs> 10k? And, wow. Yeah, I just walk. <laughs> and that's during a year when I when like half of my thing, half of my classes are on Zoom. So you can imagine like in a normal year that could go up a little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so it's really helpful to just um to just switch between lectures and to wake up a bit later if I want to without having to like wake up and shower and things yeah so I think uh it, it has like it has made it easier to to meet more people do more things in the short period of time but I'd say like if I can go back to in person I definitely pick that well well that's always much better when you can have physical contact with your friends well, then now when you during your study uh, you, you were in the university, do you have a lot of group projects that you need to use soon to come? Yeah, in? yeah, yeah, definitely. I um I ha actually haven't met anyone in my project team uh, that I work with. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. I applied, I interviewed. The whole process was on Zoom. Um, mm -hmm. but I mean that was that was fine. That was completely fine. Um. It didn't really take anything away from the process. I haven't really done any project yet. I've I've tried, I've I've coded on Zoom with my friend before, and it's mm -hmm. it's it's fine. It's not as bad as you might think. Um, so yeah, I think group work is going fine, and mm -hmm. it's 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 just so easy. You don't have to, uh, 
ask, oh, are you free this time? Uh, should we go to this place? It's just on Zoom. <laughs> so that's really handy. Mm -hmm. So usually your, your social life then will be all, mostly all through online, right? So uh, well, think... basically you will stay at home and do the Zoom or you go to the library or somewhere to do the Zoom uh, class, but then you lost the whole social life together with the friends. You you cannot. Yeah, it's, as you said, you don't have any. You, you don't meet anyone during the whole application process, and you, you don't even have uh, a physical discussion with your friends. Yeah, I'd say um, for like more formal stuff, like interviews and things, it will be on Zoom. But uh, mm -hmm. I I still have my really cl close friends, and I mm -hmm. met them. Um, all in person and I hang out with them every day. Uh -huh. um, I have a roommate and she's great with friends. Um, with Gao is my friend. Like mm -hmm. there's like it's it's definitely harder to make friends now, but like the opportunities are still everywhere if you uh, mm -hmm. want them. And I've been on quite a few zoo uh, speed friending sessions on Zoom mm -hmm. where you get like um, five minutes with each person and then after the five minutes you rotate and you see another person <laughs> well, that was well, it's it's <laughs> exactly it, the name is from speaking, but uh, speed friending and, and i remember that in your video you said you you mentioned that the exam or the tests are harder because the students can use an like an open book exam right that's yeah, why yeah, the questions yeah. are asked much tougher well it it depends but most of i i've heard that they've intentionally made it harder because you know you're taking it online you, like the, the the professor knows you can have access to online material so they just make it hard and make like give you more questions so you don't really have time to google it and things like that mm -hmm. luckily my my last two tests were not that hard but like i think it varies but yeah <laughs> it's tough well then then, then when it's affect the grades <laughs> um, right. like thankfully i don't think um not too much because uh even if you do badly and them usually everyone does badly and they curve it so like um mm -hmm. the average grade isn't that low but i think for most part everyone copes fine there's some people who really are struggling with um covid mm -hmm. uh, people who like already were depressed before the pandemic are really struggling especially because uh where i am at a city called ithaca in upstate new york it's very dark and cold this time of the year um it was like minus 18 degrees uh, a month ago and things like that and snowstorms everywhere um and it can be really bleak and things um and it, it, it's definitely harder to, to cope. It's it's a bit warmer now, but it's still like zero degree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's warmer now, right? It's warmer. It's slightly warmer because it's spring. Um, and it will get warmer, uh, thankfully. But yeah, it's it's not easy when there's so many different things going on. Well, then there there, there, there isn't any restriction for you to go out, right? For example, uh, is there any like uh, what's that um? They set a time limitation, like until what time you can go out. Do they have this kind of restriction? Uh, not for now, no, because uh, the situation on on campus for me, it's it's fine. Um, we get tested twice a week, so twice uh, a week. Twice every a week, student. Yeah. Every student, yeah. Some people get tested more because they live in a bigger house and oh. things with more people, etc. Um, so yeah, like if you have COVID like we would the, the school would know very soon um so i'd say it, it's what was what were we talking about uh, so so it's it's not that bad and like oh yeah we don't have a curfew or anything like that but you are not allowed to leave the city technically the mm -hmm. the city of ethical it's not that big um but I do know quite a few people who still like sneak out because a lot of Americans drive. I would say like 95% of my friends know how to drive and own a car. So <laughs> and, and the university just can't find out if you if you knock out or 
snack out of the city or things like that. It's hard to control, but I'd say like um, during term time, if it's not holiday, mm -hmm. then everyone pretty much stay in. But no, I mean, we're all adults now, so they, they don't really put restrictions. Um, well, even if was, with, with the evidence of the positive, with the negative proof, you can't, you can't go to other cities as well. No, because you can still bring it back. For example, if I'm oh. in Ithaca and I go to the city next door and I go and hang out with a, a, a lot of people who, who don't get tested, who probably have COVID, and I, I would just bring it back to the campus. And um, the thing that is so hard with COVID is that you can test negative and still be contagious, still pass it on mm. to people. And it's it's such a hard disease to tackle. But are the shops there, like the boutique restaurants, are they open in the downtown or in the city? Uh, they are, but um, depending, like, Sometimes they have some restrictions on indoor dining and things. For example, a table might not have, might not eat, maybe it can't have more than six people. It really depends because restrictions tighten and loosen depending on the situation. But uh, for the most part, uh, everything is open. Uh, some shops have closed because they struggled to operate through the, the pandemic, which is pretty sad because like, I know a restaurant that uh, Cornell students loved, but had to close down because mm. everyone just went home during the pandemic. That's yeah, really yeah, but it's it, yeah, it's part of the 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 pandemic, I guess. Mm. Can't really help it. So my last question for today is: Can you share me one word of advice for the students who would like to study abroad? One word. Mm. I ask this question to all my guest speakers. Confidence. It's Confidence. Very yeah. I was very shy when I first went. Uh, I was brave in the sense that I wanted to go myself and I wanted to try new things. But even when I got there, I was very shy. I wasn't confident. And I would, I would not really speak to anyone. And it's kind of a vicious cycle because if I don't talk to anyone, I have no friends and I just feel mm. less confident and right. it goes on. Um, but now uh, I think you just have to be uh, prepared and be okay with failing or like, uh, like having obstacles in your way. Mm. Uh, but it doesn't matter because, you know, if you've given something uh, ago if, you, if you've tried that's all that matters so I think my word is confidence just just be confident do what you want do what yeah. you think is best for you then you'll be fine <laughs> yeah well I like this word confidence in studies confidence in adapting a new life and I think most important as well is confidence in fighting for the virus <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I think everyone we need this word as an advice. And thank you so much today for telling us your situation, your experience. How do you tackle the problem of the during this pandemic situation? And thank you very much for telling us in the last episode about your experience in studying abroad. Thank you, Alice, and I wish you all the luck there and uh, good grades and. Better social life there and more activities to go and pandemic we're gone. <laughs> I I hope you have a better situation as well um regarding COVID and best wishes to you too. Thank you for Thank having you very me. Much. Thank you very much, Alice. Bye bye everyone. If you have any if you have any comments, please write down there. Thank you. Bye bye.